guys so welcome back of you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi BK Crown so we're going to be checking out 10 major signs before judgment day in Islam so let's check it out the hadith is a sign Muslim that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came across the Sahaba one day, they were sitting in the masjid, he came and they were having a heated discussion. So he said to them, what are you discussing? So they said, we are talking about when Qiyamah will happen. We're talking about making a guess, when will Qiyamah happen? So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Qiyamah will not happen until you see its 10 signs. So now he said there are 10 signs that are directly linked to Qiyamah. There are 10 that are definitely in a different category. Qiyamah will not happen until you see its 10 signs. Then he mentioned them one by one. And I'm going to quickly list them now. And inshallah, later on in our series, we'll go over each one of them in a lot of detail. Number one, he said, the Dukhan. The Dukhan is a dust, smoke, smog. The Dukhan. Uh, and by the way, all 10 of these are specific. These are not trends. All 10 of these are one-off incidents. So these 10, it is a clear-cut sign. Something major is going to happen, catastrophic, cataclysmic, and everybody will recognize this is one of those major signs. So number one, the Dukhan. No, and, and this is not in order. We're going to mention this. This is just 10 that he said. They don't necessarily be in this order. Number two, the Dajjal. And that is a long discussion. We'll talk about that. Number three, the Dabba. And the Dabba is the beast. And he's mentioned in the Quran. Number uh, four, the rising of the sun from the west. So the sun rises in the east, sets in the west. One day it will rise from the west. Number five, Nuzul Isa ibn Maryam, the coming down of Isa ibn Maryam. Okay, this is a specific incident, and that is not ambiguous at all. Very clear. Number six, Ya'juj and Ma'juj, and the coming of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Okay, that is a major sign, and we'll talk about them and some of the problems that are raised by this issue. We'll talk about it very frankly when we get there, inshallah. Number seven, eight, and nine, three zalazil, three earthquakes that will shake the world. There's going to be major. This isn't a regional earthquake. These are earthquakes that essentially the world will know it is an earthquake. Three zalazil that will shake the world in one hadith. Each next one will be bigger than the first one. So it's going to be three consecutive earthquakes that are the whole world will know that there is an earthquake uh, taking place. And then he said, Wa The last of these signs, number 10, the last of these signs is a blazing fire that will emanate in Yemen and will force the people towards Ard al Mahshar or the land of resurrection. The land of resurrection. The very last sign of Judgment Day will be the fire that will force people to gather in one place and that will be the end of humanity in that one place which is going to be in Bilad al-Sham as we will come to when we come to it. In another hadith he said, any time one of these 10 comes, expect the other to come immediately after. So these 10 are like dominoes, one after the other. These 10, when the first one comes, khalas, the rest are going to follow very, very quickly. And the first of these 10, without a doubt, is the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. This is the first of these 10. The first of these 10 is the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. And when Isa comes, the rest of these are going to come one by one. And that's it. Qiyamah will take place very shortly after the coming of Isa ibn Maryam. And the last of the minor signs links the first of the major signs. Let me repeat. The last of the minor signs links the first of the major signs. The last of the minor signs is the coming of the Mahdi. The coming of the Mahdi is the last of the minor signs. And the Mahdi will be alive and will interact with the first of the major signs. And that is who? Isa ibn Maryam. So the Mahdi and the Isa will coexist at the same time, same place, interact with one another. And it is literally as if the minor is coming to an end and the major is beginning. And then that's it. The rest will go uh, from there until Qiyam. Wow, that was a quick one. But the Mahdi, I, I don't get that Mahdi. Is the Mahdi the, um, is it the wind or the nature? I don't get it. What's the meaning of the Mahdi? So, the only similarity between this uh, point, there's one similarity among all the 10 major signs, and that's the return of Jesus Christ. Because in, the, in Christianity, we also believe that when 
the judgment day is coming when the last day comes then that's when jesus is returning so that's the similarity between the christianity and the islam and the one of the beasts woof, that's serious guys then the i like the highest one is jesus returning but the one that is is very hot that one cannot resist and we pray we should not you know go through that kind of you know torture or that kind of pain is fire fire is not something that anybody wants to wish himself or herself or even his enemy to go to to witness because uh, fire is something that will, will keep eating you up so that one dear guys but the greatest of all is the coming of jesus the return of isa jesus christ these are the beautiful signs before judgment day even though it was very brief you know the man just listed it out i don't know maybe i will try and look for the full details of this video so that we can learn more uh if you're not listening to you can learn alongside with me so that we can know the importance what does this you know 10 major signs what what are their roles during judgment day and you know it's very very like just for us to learn it and it's it's very interesting to watch guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share comment i'll see you in the next one bye